Oops. Hi everybody, uh, Joe Gearing from Anderson Trucking. I've got my entire recruiting team here. These are all my recruit or my driver consultants that are with me. Uh, so we've been doing this for about three months now. Uh, we decided to do something a little bit different. So as you can see, we're calling it Burger and Business tonight. And so if you want to take a scan over there, we've got a number of our drivers that are not very patient in making sure these burgers get done soon. <laughs> but we're just going to do a little bit of mingling with our drivers. And so tonight is like every other night. Uh, this is called ATS, Ask Us Anything for a Reason. And what's kind of neat is some of your questions that come up, we might even direct one of our drivers to have them tell their story. So tonight's a great opportunity. We got a whole lot of, we got drivers that are in class this week. We got a lot of rehires that are with us. We got seasoned drivers that have been with us for, for 30 years. We got them with us for 20 years. We got them with 10 years. So you guys are going to see a lot of diversity of the folks that we've got here. And so you're going to see some kind of coming and going. But John and Rob, you guys want to introduce yourself yep. real quick. I'm John, I'm one of the recruiters here at ATS. Robbie Schaefer, I'm one of the driver consultants here at ATS. And stay tuned because we've got a big announcement coming later. Ooh, Robbie Schaefer. Ooh. You said that like you're from up north. Yeah. Here at ATS. There we go. And I'm Jimmy Williams. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. That's okay. I'm Jimmy Williams, a driver consultant here at ATS. And like Robbie said, everybody stay tuned. We've got some big news to announce to, uh, to everyone. We're Heck pretty yeah. excited about it. So, uh, why don't you introduce yourself, Sam? Um, I don't think I can flip the camera. I can. Well, I'm right here. My name's Sam. Um, I'm a graphic designer here at ATS. I work for the driver recruiting side. So, I'm behind the camera, the, the shaky one behind the camera. So, so, if you're not happy with anything, you get to blame her. Me. All right, here you That's go, right. Sam. That's right. Okay. Woo. So, let's go ahead and give a little bit of a view. I, I think what it would be really yep. cool is to basically let everybody say hi. So, hey guys. guys say hi to everybody. What's up, everybody? Hi, hi everybody. So we are here at ATS. Uh, any of you guys want to showcase your truck? I think one guy does. Anyhow, we're going to walk around a little bit see a little bit of the equipment. Can you keep an eye on yeah. oh, Anybody got a truck nearby? Right there, a little one. All of us. Come on. It's all their trucks. I guess we're doing a tour. Five minutes of burgers being done. We're just talking a little bit about the ride and the type of equipment that we got here at ATS. And Sam, I hope you're watching for comments, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, Robbie, you're in charge of comments. Who's here? This is me. This is you. Yeah. So, how long have you been with ATS? Uh, a little bit over a year and a half. Okay. How's it been so far for you? Been great. Love it. So, what are you driving? The Peterbilt. So, are you in your first or second year? Uh, this will be my second year. Second year. Second year. Okay. So, I see you're a veteran. Yes, sir. Uh, how's the treatment with that been going? Have you been finding we got a lot of vets here? Yes, sir. Okay. Any stories you want to share? I mean, how are you feeling about the truck? The truck's great. Been doing me good. <laughs> hey, you don't need to be shy. You making money? Oh, I'm not okay, good. I, I have no doubt. So. No, I'm making money. Better than anywhere else. Yeah, Wait, good. Let me take it around the parking lot. No. No. Can he honk Jimmy. your horn? He wants to know if he can honk a horn. Who wants to honk? He's like a little kid. Go. You really need to turn the camera. What's that? It's coming through like that. I can't. It's, I, okay. I'm you already might have flipped. to hold it up then. You might just have to hold it. So you guys were dealing with technical stuff again, but we're... It's all good. It's all good. You got it? Yep. How's that, Robbie? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. Are we... <laughs> Kindergarten. That's kindergarten, guys. God. Anybody else got a truck they want to show you? My truck is Mad Shack. She's got a loud voice to her. So, here, here's one that got my Oh, you guys, where's your Okay, so. I started out with a couple of guys a year and a half ago and went down. You did? Yeah. So, do I tell you guys a gap after the end? Take a look at this, guys. We're gonna get rice nice and close. Holy cow.
Yeah. Hey everybody, I got Don with me here. He was just showing me his new truck and uh only the lug nuts and Don, you're pulling the skateboard, right? Yeah, that is good. And uh, I'll just break the that project. That's what I want to hear. That's, that's, that's what I want to hear. Drivers, ATS is committed to you, the driver. Look at this equipment this guy's driving in. I mean, this is state-of-the-art equipment that we're driving. Where we can really set apart, set ourselves apart is because the fact of our customer freight. Don, you can attest to that. You're staying busy. That's a major thing. That's a major thing. Believe me, I wouldn't be here if I didn't have to be here. I was going to knock this down. I got to get my car going. Going on here. I like what you did there. Oh, they're reflective. I see. Absolutely. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Absolutely cool. Absolutely. And, and the big thing, match the truck, but the freight is there for you to make the money that we're leading everybody to make, and that's that's just an awesome right. testament from a driver that you know we've got here and gonna enjoy some burgers with us later. Yeah, awesome. I, I like to watch it every week, whether it needs it or not. It just looks better. Keeping it clean, sail right on through them scale houses, just nice. That's exciting. Oh, good. That's what we need. What, what, what you just said is I tell every one of my drivers that I'm bringing in, I said, the only thing I'm going to ask you to do is be committed to ATS and wash your dang truck. Oh, my gosh. Week. Look what Kermit said. Somebody has a fancier truck than me. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure which one he's talking about, but they're right. both pretty nice. That's really nice. Like Thanks for tuning in, Kermit. We love when you're here. That specialized, that's what we do. That's right. Let's head back. Sorry if I'm a little shaky, guys. Should we say hi to our pup? Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's check on the burgers, huh? Look at these guys. We ever seen Joe Gehring in a bright yellow vest like that? I sure haven't. Hello. Hi. Hi. We are grilling. So, you're busy. Anybody got any some news? So I know we got some big news. Anything going on with Thomas right now? Samantha? We're good. Huh? We're good. Good to see Kermit on there. That eagle scream. So, you guys, you know I'm always begging. We're good. I, I have no problem coming in for 14 hours and staying here at 7 o'clock to grill burgers. But I'm doing this to try to make sure I get some good questions. And I don't care if they're tough questions, uh, but this is all about trying to get some discussion going. So, Kermit, I know for sure. I know you're coming close. You told me that it's probably <laughs> going to be this year. And uh, is it? Everybody doesn't know this. Kermit's been with us for 30 years or greater. Uh, not a better driver, not a better friend of mine. So, um, Kermit, thanks for joining us. Anybody has any questions? Let us know. Mm -hmm. Guys, anything? Uh, one thing uh. I would like to you know. Sure. Well, that's why we cannot get our trucks turned up to 70 mile an hour where we can stay with pace with the rest of traffic. Yeah, that's a that's been an ongoing debate with an Anderson truck. And so my name is not Anderson, but I will tell you that right now it's still not negotiable. What we do do is that with tenure, you, you, it basically moves it goes from 65 up to 67. There's some talk about throttle speed. George's not always at 70, governed at 70. But the bottom line is we own the truck. When you own the truck. You govern it to whatever you want to, yeah. but but the statistics on the accident increase ratio for everybody being able to go at 70, it, you'd, you'd be surprised at the problems that we have. So mm -hmm. so we are trying to recognize longevity, safety okay. records, and they're doing a couple of things to say, what are the drivers that we would give that uh, privilege to of going up to 70? But it's going to be only those that are extremely safety minded Sam. and realize that I'm going the extra five down. miles to pass, we're not going to change that across the board. It's going to be based on individual performance. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We've just been that way. So company trucks, lease trucks, uh, because they're our asset leasing until you guys own them and you do a balloon payment. Once you own them, they're your truck to do what you want to. But again, the safety stats are just too mm -hmm. pretty incredible. Uh, I, I, it seems to me that it's less safe to have us blockade out there on the roads mm -hmm. than driving the speed limit. So because what I'm going to say, what I'm going to say to the group. I, I, give, I give people, I have, the other day I had a lady, or a couple of months ago, lady passed me on her shoulder, threw a big old rock up me yep. up, like, and shattered my windshield, came through the windshield. Yep. Because she passed me on the shoulder because I was doing 63 mile an hour. That's yep. irresponsible. Well, 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 yeah. A lot of them are. And so anybody who's out there in the professional trucking business, 
those things are going to happen, but I don't want to avoid your question. I just, I'm just letting you know that we, we actually have that, I think it's called three below the flow. Uh, so even though you're governed at 65, we're actually saying we'd rather you only go 62. Um, just, it's, it's just a safety stack. Do you know how much longer it takes us to get anywhere at 65? Uh, but I'm glad you asked that. And I'm actually glad you're bringing this up because this is real life driving stuff. But the reality is we don't dispatch drivers where they gotta go 65 and 70. We dispatch everybody at 50 miles an hour. So you don't need to go run that fast to make the delivery on time. That's one thing that so many new drivers to us don't understand that we're not pushing 3,000, 3,500 miles. Uh, we're pushing 2,000, maybe 2,200 miles, and you're making at the same level or greater than those carriers that are pushing you to run 28 to 3,500 miles. So everything we dispatch you on is based on a 50 mile an hour speed. Did you know that? No. Yep. So does that help answer that though? Because um, you've one. never pushed a load because of speed. Uh, Have you noticed? Is, uh, would you agree with that? No. Why you can't pay a scale You're saying that you're almost late for load based on your speed? Yes. Okay. okay. So we, I'd have to sit down and go with it. I can and, say that. And, and, and it gets me late getting home sometimes. Sometimes I don't make, uh, like this morning, I didn't make my appointment because of the speed. Because mm -hmm. I got the speed. I was 35 minutes late getting to the load because I'm driving 63 mile an hour. So I got no problem with it, but what I will tell you, the policy, and, I, and what I tell everybody on these live sessions Most is, part I drive 50. you don't always like my answer, it's nice but it's not speed. going to change anytime soon. And so if somebody mm -hmm. really is not gonna come and make the money we're making here mm -hmm. because of that five miles, your, your choice. We don't try to twist anybody's arm to come on. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense? So hey, we just got a comment here. Question, yep. Well, actually I'm gonna touch on this comment from Austin Chancey, he's been pretty uh, active. He said, I drive at 62 miles an hour at most. Um, most part, I drive 58. It's a nice cruising speed. And then he had a comment earlier that says, Hey, Joe, company-related question. As a contractor, why am I not able to pay scale ticket with my EFS card and it gets pulled from my check? Is it something that can't be set up or tracked? Is that a transponder issue, you guys? You know, I, I don't know if I have the answer to that. I do not have the answer, but... Uh, who who asked Austin. that question? Austin, Austin Chancey. So, hey, Austin, so what I will tell you, um, when it comes to the, the tolls and so forth, uh, I'm going to have to check on that for you real quick. So I may not have an answer for you tonight, but I'm going to have to go into contractor services and chat with them real quick to find out why that works. Why Are that you works. ready? As a, as a contractor, uh, does that do you have to use your EFS as well? I've, I've never tried to use an EFS to pay for a skill ticket. So and is Chauncey saying that he has to use his EFS? Okay. Oh, he's ask, asking why he can't. Why he can't. So uh, if I'm reading it correctly. It's because of auditing reasons, because yeah. as a company driver, we have to be able to audit because we're paying for that. Mm -hmm. As a contractor, you're paying for that. Yeah. As a company driver, we're paying for that. So I've got a, I got a feeling that's got something to do with the accounting process. So, is so it, Chancey, I'll get you an answer. Is, is, is he company or company? He's company. He's company. He's company. Yeah. Well, and companies should pay for like that. The yeah, we do. That's saying. what I'm trying to tell him. So that, that, it's a different but, system. But, but, as, as a lease or an owner, it, it, we pay for that. And yeah. it, 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 it's a tax right. Right off. That's exactly right. So I said earlier that we had a big announcement tonight, uh -huh. and I believe Mr. Jimmy Williams is ready to make that announcement over here. If we can watch Jimmy's it way over there. Jimmy. Jimmy. Hey, so I think guys, we're following how many in. company drivers do we have here right now? Anybody? Who's all company? Okay. So you guys, you guys want to be your owner off? Oh, uh, is that a puppy? <gasps> is this? Who is this? Marley. Marley. What's Marley. your name? Travis. Travis, nice to see you. Hi, honey. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. You're Facebook famous, Marley. You are so sweet. You're Facebook famous. Oh, you guys. This is quality content. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, well, Jimmy, why'd you call us over here? You know what? Me and Robbie Schaefer are really, really excited to announce that ATS, as of Monday, is now a pet friendly company uh, for company drivers. That's Woo. Monday, July 19th. That's something we've been working on for a very long time. And uh, yeah, very excited that, um, you know, ATS is ahead of the curve on almost everything in the industry. And, and we figured out that uh, uh, the, the pet situation out there, whether it be for companion, whether it be for safety, whether it be for whatever the reason is, um, that you're out on the road, you, you should be able to have a pet. And ATS has uh, made that decision effective uh, Monday, July 19th. And we're gonna be pet friendly. That's so exciting, that's guys. That, that's, and Marley, I'm, Marley's been riding in your truck for how long? About five years. About going five on years. Going, going on five, five years. years. Comments. So, I mean, that, that's something, like Robbie said, I mean, we've been we've been hearing about this in recruiting for, you know, two years. Mm -hmm. And the commitment that the Andersons have to not only us as employees, but it's to you, the driver. 
that's where the really the commitment level is with with the Andersons. This is just another step, another brick to in, to show you guys that the customer freight, the the money, the home time, the three-legged stool, as we call it. This is an important piece to it, right? It's important mm -hmm. for you to have, you know, with her with you yeah. when we're driving, and we know the other drivers it is as well. So, the couple of drivers I've talked to today were completely ecstatic and really excited that that we're going to be rolling this out. So, mm -hmm. give your recruiter a call if it's Robbie, if it's me, if it's John, if it's Patrick, if it's Holly, if it's Paul. Give your recruiter a call. We're going to be lucky <laughs> to talk about it with you guys. So, oh, is there a weight limit on pets? Breed restrictions. Okay. There is going to, well, not a breed, but there is a restriction on weight, mm -hmm. but that is something we can talk about. So there again, make sure you call in, talk to me, John, Robbie, Polly, Polly, or Polly. Polly. Paul, Paul <laughs> Patrick. Yep. And uh, we will take that question from there. Thanks for that question, Melinda. Absolutely. And keep the questions coming, you guys. This is like we do this. We do this. Joe and I started this a while back, and we're only going to be as good as, as you guys and can get us the questions in here. But it's just awesome to see this uh, this little thing hanging out the door. That, that's Hi. what it's all about, you guys. I mean, it. you are the driver. You're committed to ATS. ATS is, is committed to you uh, going forward. And we got a lot of things. We had a lot of you know, pay structure, a lot of announcements this week. <laughs> where Robbie said we were ahead of the curve, and mm -hmm. we really feel we are. So yes. thanks again, everybody. And hey, thanks Chad. Thanks for letting us look at the... Oh, uh, another question. Look at that. What about cats? I don't know if we've ever talked about cats have we i haven't but a pet policy is gonna a cat is going to be included in that heck right? yeah dog or cat absolutely again <laughs> super excited to let everybody know this give your recruiter a call if i'm your recruiter i hope you're calling me tomorrow morning give me a call tonight i'll return the voicemail when i get in in the morning but mm -hmm. yeah it this is this is going to be a big big topic for oh. for a few for a freak time today and there's one right there too there's another guy seem to be everywhere. That's oh, awesome. there's Robbie. Chad's looking for you. Hey, Chad. Good to see you on here. Yes, cats. You're, we already talked to your cats. Yep. Right? <laughs> oh, look at this, sweetheart. She's just shaking. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we're really excited about allowing company drivers to have pets. It's going to be an awesome transition. It, it just, this is, that's, that's, that's what it's all about, you guys, right? Mm -hmm. He has for a companion while you're driving down the road. Now you company drivers that were thinking, well, maybe I didn't want to do lease. Come on, here you go. Look at the equipment that this man's riding in, right? Ooh. What year is this? 2019. 2019 Cascadia. We are so excited with how... I picked it up a month ago. A month ago. There you go. I mean, it, it's we're proud of the fleet. We're really proud of our drivers. And we're really proud to announce this for, uh, for straight over drivers. the grill. Thank you. All right, we're moving over. Hi. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are we doing? Hey, we have a couple questions, guys. Do you want to answer these real quick? Yeah. Let's see. I need to catch up. Sorry, guys. I'm a little distracted by the pups. All right. How about snakes? Can we allow snakes in the trucks? Uh, Ooh. Do you want to? Do you want a I mean, snake? It's, the policy says one dog or cat domestic. Okay. That's all that we have on there. Gotcha. Now, if you want to have a snake in there, if that that's your friend, more power to you, I guess. Yeah, just make sure that it's locked up when you go into a ship. You don't want somebody getting away on that one. Uh, what, Joe? To come on over. Get in there. Don't, all right. Don't Do you want to answer a question? What's the next one? Um. So why don't contractors get no idle air in the trucks? Hey, you guys. You want to come and grab Ooh. the very technical and going to have to pass it on to... Pick a man. Hey, Joe. Hi. Um, let's see. Why don't contractors get no idle air in the trucks? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> All right. We will maybe maybe give us a few more details. Yeah, so, so I'm thinking somewhere on your driver app, your ATS driver app, there's a lot of information that relates to your idle. But that particular question, that's a little too granular for me. But once again, like any question that you guys ask during these ATS Live, ask us anything. If we don't have the answer on the recruiting side, because uh, it's a unique question, we will for sure respond back to you tomorrow 
Uh, obviously, we know who you are. We'll just click on your name, and we'll put a public response out so everybody else watching that wants to know the answer to that. But right now, I, I think the majority of that is on your HS mobile app. I don't know I don't know why idle time would be any different, or at least giving you visibility to our company drivers and our independent contractors. Okay, thank you. Anything else on there? Uh, yeah, someone asked, can we have parrots in the trucks? No. No. I will tell you that That's last the answer. Week, whoever asked that question, we had a driver that wanted to bring a bowl constrictor in the truck. So, folks, cats and dogs, you guys can train them, put them in a little pen, put them in the back. Parakeets start running wild. Uh, get down by your feet. Uh, we, we've just found out that uh, are the two animals that we're fine with bringing on as a pet is, is going to be a, a cat and a dog. Yeah. So, sorry. Good answer. As of right now, the answer is no. I, I will say I was really excited, though. So I wasn't part of the announcement uh, to our company drivers, uh, but being here 31 years, this is something we've been talking about for probably the last five years and for, to finally be an approved uh, new program for our company drivers. Uh, I'm excited about it for the females that are in the trucks now for... Uh, the folks that just, listen, they, they love their dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, they want that companionship. So I'm really, really glad that we're working on the refrigerators getting I'm in the truck. Working on the, that, yeah. Now we have the pet policy in the truck. So we're just taking those they're, they're, steps they're, time after time. So great questions. Yep, and, and absolutely. Hey, why don't you do a little scan? These guys are fine yeah. for burgers. And you guys can there take one, one, by the way. Good. Oh, absolutely. I bought 50 burgers. Holy Joe, that is too many burgers. No. It's all good. <laughs> Are you kidding? It was a bunch of fat truck drivers. <laughs> What's that? I said, are you kidding? There's a bunch of fat truck drivers here. We'll eat them all. You guys are about as healthy as you Nice job, John. Thanks. <laughs> so here, let's come over. Yeah. So hey, here's some, oh my goodness, here's some details about idle errors where you have AC with the truck off. So I'm assuming that's our APU. Uh, AC with the truck off. So I know that this is a little bit, so for anybody who's done our ATS lives before, we're always in a studio and very formatted. So we can pay attention to the questions. So this is chaos. a lot going on here right now. And we, like I said, we're doing this to just have a little bit of fun and try something new that we haven't done before. But read the question to me again, please. So the question is... Is it from the same driver? Yes, idle air is a thing in the past. That question is referring to an APU. So why no APU with the lease trucks? Okay, so very good question. Yes. Um, so the APUs, we've always had, uh, I don't know how long you've been with us, um, but we've always had a one and a two year lease option. No skin in the game, no money down, no credit check. You simply cannot pay for an APU in one or two years. So what I will tell you is for about the last, Jimmy, what is it, two or three weeks? Yes, sir. Um, we've now been experimenting. So our lease trucks are getting full. And so what we are doing now is we are offering some of the new drivers coming in the option to get into a three and a four year lease. Uh, they're gonna put some money down, but it does come with an APU. So the, the trade off is you wanna come into basically a no risk lease where you've got no skin in the game and if it's not working out, you're leaving? Or do you really want to have certain uh, amenities to that truck to where you're gonna put an investment into that truck, but you just can't, we can't justify it. The, what we'd have to charge you to depreciate that AP in one or two years, mm -hmm. you guys would say no to it every time. So hopefully that answers your question. Yeah. And I've had many conversations with drivers about this topic and the, what, it's been extremely well received on the drivers I've talked to because they understand Don the no money down, no credit weeks. check. That's but what they also understand is the drivers that truly want to buy that truck, that. right? We're committed to help you buy that truck. And if you want it set up with an AP, if you want it set up with certain things, we can do that for you. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's been a huge topic, like Joe said, for the last couple of weeks. And again, great question. But again, I, I keep saying it. ATS is staying ahead of the curve with the current industry and the current industry standards. There's going to be some, some, some other things coming out as well on that. But keep the questions flowing, guys. Here, let's walk this way. Yeah. Let's talk to some com company drivers. Oh, where did Joe go? Did I lose him? I guess we'll stay out here. So, Don, I see your question. Oh. He's just getting some paperwork. So, Don, Joe is coming out with some paperwork that's going to answer your question. Um, what's the pay like for the first two, thir two to three months starting as an ATS lease flatbed? Well, you know, we got to do, we got to start doing this more often. You know, we always try to do it during drive appreciation days. Right. Those are, those are really, really big days. But we've been doing this so often. I got some numbers, but hang on. Heck yeah. Uh, so, we, you know, we've been doing it. In the, we've got a studio now that we do this. We are committed to these ATS live events. Right. Because I love these questions that are coming in. Because, again, 
you know, it's never argumentative, folks. It's a matter of us giving clarity and giving the why behind it. You may not like the answer, but at least you're going to get a straight answer. Um, so, anyway, I'm glad you're having a good time. And like I said, feel free to grab another burger. Taking it back, you said seven years, right? Seven years, yeah. All right. This is the first time I've made an actual live event, so. <laughs> Great. Yeah, so we like to have fun. Thanks for having your shirt on. No, I'm just, yeah. It is a nice day out today, huh? Let's walk over here. It's a little loud. So, um, where's Robbie at? Robbie is right here. So let's let's go through this. So what was the question that Robbie hit me with? Um, what's the pay like for the first two to three months starting? As as, in what position? Lease flatbed. So I've just got done printing out. So let's flip. I do want to show you guys a couple of things. So on a weekly basis, uh, this is company flatbeds. And mm -hmm. this is lease flatbeds. Okay. And what we do is we take a look at the entire spread of earnings uh, every week on a running total mm -hmm. on what the earnings are for our company drivers and what our lease drivers are. So when we've been doing this week over week, to give you an idea of where the numbers have gone from, we were excited about one, two, three, four, five, six weeks ago, our range went up to the top 70%, so 70% of our drivers on the lease side, after all fixed expenses, we're making $1,961 after all fixed expenses. But our top mm. 20 drivers, we're making over $2,700. This week, every week it's gone up. Every single week, week over week, and we're being told the freight is just as strong, it's gonna stay strong through the year. That this last week, that 1961 went to 2212 cents, and the top end went from the 2759 to 2957. So the numbers have grown year over year. And so that's on the on the flatbed lease side. On the company flatbed side, uh, same good news that we've got coming across is the numbers on the company side uh, have gone up from about $1,700 to $2,300. And they're now at $1,831 up to $2,268. Uh, so hmm. we've, uh, this whole upside pay program that we've done and with us bumping up the OD pay for the flatbedders for us taking the percentage up to 28%, uh, the reality is is that we, the freight rates are so good with the spot market, we had, had to find a way to get more dollars into our company drivers' pockets. Our contractors are already reaping the rewards because based on their percentage and these rates that they're getting offered right now, the, 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 there's not one I've ran into. Every driver, and I'm saying this with all due respect, wants to make more. I can guarantee you, my recruiter Robbie, always wants to make more. Uh, me, I don't care. They pay me janitorial services and I'm cool mm -hmm. with that. Um, so, but at the end of the day, oh, don't chuckle like that. But at the end of the day, it, it's the right thing to do. So the freight rates have been really, really good. Uh, to give you guys an idea on the east side, uh, we've got a couple of regional pockets, but our company vans right now, their range started at about 1433 up to 1771 mm -hmm. and currently they're at 1732 uh actually i want to make sure yeah 1732 and the high end is 2267 so that's on the company side and then on the lease side i printed these just because i was hoping that somebody was going to ask is we start you know it's held pretty strong we started about 1800 dollars on the low end on the 70 percentile up to 2500 and we we had a, a slight dip we actually went from 1850 to 1822 last week mm -hmm. and instead of 2521 it's 2388 47. Mm -hmm. so at the end of the day that's a very small you know reasonable uh reduction but just the growth consistently week over week over, week over the last 12 weeks super stoked about it any other questions yes yeah. absolutely see some guys saying Hi thank guys. you for being hey, transparent. Hey, hey. I'm, getting, I'm getting a sore throat. <laughs> you guys jump in. You, you guys right. get the next question. <laughs> Carrying so, the team. So these numbers are, are great and so I, I think Joe did that in response. I think it was Don's question yep. a little bit earlier. And yep. Don, I hope that answered your done? question directly and you can see that we're, we're really taking these questions and showing you not just lip service but actually showing you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to turn it over to Jimmy for a second and look for more comments. Yeah, so there's one from... Uh, Fabian Lewis, let's see, I'm sorry if I butcher your name, says, with the lease, how many miles are normally on a truck, and what options do you have if you wanted to purchase the truck? How many miles are on a truck? Great question. What I can tell you is, for flatbed, it's a one year. Uh, no money down, no credit check walkway. For van, it's a two year. All trucks will be under full factory warranty for the duration of that lease, right? So uh, to get an exact number on miles, I, we wouldn't know that in recruiting, right? We don't know what's in rotation at the time either. 
but I can share with you that the truck will be under full factory warranty for the duration of your lease. And I can expand on that a little bit. Please Jim. do. So I, I can expand on that a little bit. So basically what Jimmy's saying is we're, we're running 2016 to 2021s. Um, there's three different makes, Freightliners, Peterbilts, and Volvos, and I think yep. that was touched on already. So if we're gonna have a remaining factory powertrain warranty on every truck in that one year lease, that means we're gonna have less than 450,000 miles. So you're gonna have less than 450,000 miles all the way down to zero, brand new. So somewhere in between, and um, I don't wanna oversell that because this isn't like a dealership. Right. Right. It's gonna be limited to what's on hand. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes that's uh, not the dream truck. Um, and that's okay um, because it's a one year lease. Let's say you get to the end of the year, you get your $4,000 completion bonus and you go, you know what, I no longer want a Freightliner, I want a Peterbilt. Mm -hmm. You're going to get out of that truck you were in for the first year and you're going to have options with either our dealership or our leasing company because we own both. Extended lease as well. Yep, exactly. So actually Justin asked, what do you run for tractors? You can act answer that pretty quickly. Oh. Perfect. I, I think I just yep. did. Freightliners, uh, Peterbilts, and Volvos. And Volvos. So 2016 to 2021s. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so back to the warranty thing. So <clears throat> we've got the uh, factory powertrain warranty for the entirety of the lease. Plus there's a catastrophic warranty that's supplied yep. by ATS. And on top of that, there's a 30-day bumper-to-bumper warranty. Um, you shouldn't be inheriting in other people's issues. So, um, yeah. And I'm going to check for more. Paul, thank you so much for answering the questions we're missing. Uh, you're doing great, and we are a bit chaotic, but we're having fun, right, guys? Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Uh, this, is, this is what it's all about. And again, what, what this guy said, right, that Robbie's my, was my mentor, right? And with, with all that goes on around the lease, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know of another company where, you know, you have no skin in the game right you have no skin in the game you have no commitments to us and we shake hands right if something doesn't go right but a lot of the times it doesn't and to, to to Robbie's point about the trucks and the years and the makes and the models well you know what if, if, if that truck just wasn't what you wanted but you're still making two thousand twenty five hundred sometimes three thousand dollars a week as a lease operator right after that year on the flatbed side you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go from there, right? Mm -hmm. That's a big opportunity and a big selling point for, for what we do. The, the one-year lease gets you in the game, right? Gets you gets used to running as an independent contractor and, and go forward from there. But what, what I am amazed at, Robbie, is, is just the, the options we have for the driver once that's completed. Yeah, and that, I'm glad you brought that up because actually I'm reading on here, Fabian asked that question. Yeah. Um, his question was, do you have an option to purchase the truck after the lease expires? And, and you pronounced it correctly, by the way. Thank you. Mm. Um, so, um, yes, we do. Um, at the end of the lease, um, if let, let's say you get to the end of the lease and that is your dream truck, you don't have to get out of that truck. There are options. Uh, sometimes the option makes sense to extend the lease on that truck. There is an option to, of course, pay a balloon payment. Um, now, let's be real. You, you come in and you select a 2020. After a year, you're going to get that $4,000 completion bonus. That number is still going to be a big number. Yep. So, um, in that case, sometimes it makes sense to extend the lease for an additional year. Maybe it makes sense to go into a longer term lease, two or three years, and look towards working towards paying that truck off. So, yes, baby, and there are options. I think Chad had a question on there, too. Yes. It was, um, um, how did new ATS drivers make it here? How do they make it here? They call me Chad. <laughs> Calling on no, Robbie. No, no, call Jimmy. <laughs> call Jimmy. <laughs> hey, uh, real quick, um, I, I, we're going over the half hour here, and not, not everybody sticks with us all night. We're going to keep going, but I just want to make the point that if you're watching this after hours, let's say it's 2 a.m., yep. you're sitting there, you're watching it, um, throw a comment in there. We're, we're, you know, if you got questions, we're still um, monitoring it. I can guarantee if you comment at 3 a.m., I'm not going to be answering at 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. But at the next earliest convenience, 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, we'll, we'll, we'll be monitoring it and getting back to you. Um, so, Chad, um, how do they make it here at ATS? So, honestly, it's, it's the support. And it really starts with um, the name on the building, Anderson's, all the way from the very top. There, you know, you walk through buildings and you hear customer first, customer this, customer that. And anytime I walk into a meeting here at ATS, it, it always seems to be driver focused. What can we do for the driver? I think it is good looking at everybody here that gets to make a 
<laughs> oh yeah, you're you're just fine. You're just fine. Everybody here that works at uh, one of these facilities here in St. Cloud, Minnesota, or our facility in Porter, or Greenville, or wherever it is, we don't have jobs without the drivers. And the Andersons know that. So, um, and it starts comes all the way from there and it works all the way through we've got an open door policy we've got support for our drivers we do everything in our power to make our drivers successful Absolutely. the more our drivers are successful the less people we have to recruit recruiting costs a lot of money um, mm -hmm. whether it be advertisement whether it be getting here whether it be the orientation it costs a lot of money so if we can go out of our way to keep a driver here we're money ahead Mm -hmm. Well, and, and to, to expand on what Robbie was saying, guys, there's a there's hundred guys and gals behind the scenes, right? Behind the curtain, pulling the strings for you, the driver. I tell every one of my drivers that I hired, and even the drivers that are wanting to come over here, when you get up here to East, right? If you come here and do a lease purchase, you're coming here. How are we doing, John? If you're going to be a company driver, you're going to Porter, Indiana. But when you get up here to the mothership in St. Cloud, right, that is when you will experience what Robbie just said. Open door policy. You will be able to meet these people that are working behind the scenes for you, the driver, right? The, the ones that are pulling your permits, the ones that are looking for, you know, what we're doing to do uh, from point A to point B. There's many people behind the scenes that are supporting you, the driver, and I think that's important. One little thing I want to bring up about the lease, I just want to circle back to that, right? We own the finance company, right? It's right around the corner here. It's called CES. That is a huge feather in our cap to be able to provide to you, the driver, hey, when that one lease is up, it's not like some carriers, drivers have told me this, yeah, okay, go to your bank and secure the balloon payment or turn the truck in. No, 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 no. We are gonna work with you. If that's a truck you wanna buy, we're gonna negotiate with you, the driver, to try to get you in the best position possible. Mm -hmm. So CES, like I said, is right around the corner from here at this building. Right in this and building. they're committed to, to working things out. You heard Joe and I talk earlier about the extended lease, which is becoming very popular for us as well. Johnny Hayes, it's your turn to talk, sir. I'm busy here on the grill. Oh, is he uh, making excuses? Sure. Excuses, huh? No, no, excuses. Look uh huh. At these. Mm -hmm. Look at these. Oh, Come on, look at we got that. a fresh batch on here. Johnny, how many have you eaten? I haven't even one yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get those little pieces of fall off yeah. and like snack on them a little bit. <laughs> like, that's the grillers <laughs> tasty. Sure. Let's go over there. <sighs> Let's, uh. Did we lose Joe? I don't know. Where's Joe going? All right, guys, if you have any questions, we're going to try to catch up a little bit. Do you want to maybe take a seat and we can answer a few more? Not really. Not really. Okay, we can stand. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to catch up. So Fabian asked another one, does ATS run hazmat loads? ATS does. Um, it's uh, it's not a huge part of what we do. Uh, we've got a couple of regionals, and in one of that regionals, it's a little more prevalent. Um, uh, okay, so put your hand up. Sure very small part of what we do, but a little bit of the band three. Three. You so are five. Our drivers are going to pass down to the free food. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's that's tool. Back to Robbie. Everybody needs burgers. <laughs> Joe said, who needs burgers? Everybody's oh, hands went up. Yes. So, um, what else you got for questions? Good, good, right? Yes. Um, Paul's also answering our questions, so we are good. Thanks, uh, Paul. Don, Don asked if we can buy an APU for a truck. Can they purchase it themselves? The short, the short answer to that, uh, is it Don that asked yep. that? Uh, Don, thanks for all the good questions. Uh, the short answer to that, is in the first one year lease, um, there is not an option for an APU as of now. Um, Listen, we, it's, we all know it's the way the industry is going. We've got APUs on all of our company trucks. Um, the, the good thing is, is that it's a one-year lease. So let's say you get to the end of the one year and you decide, listen, I want to do a long-term lease. I want to, I want an APU on it. There's going to be options for that um, after that one-year lease. Mm -hmm. So I hope that answered your question, yep. Don. You that's got some awesome. good ones. A lot, of, a lot of lease questions. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's really good. And the guys, that's what we're here for, right? I said it when we were, you know, talking about the pet policy. Call your recruiter, right? Call me, call Robbie, call Paul, call call one of us. We will be happy to answer any questions that you got. Sam will be answering any questions, you know, as we're monitoring this going mm -hmm. forward. So, uh, like I said, we just really appreciate you tuning in. The questions are great. 
but you can kind of see this is kind of how we go. We're a team, right? This is, this is a team. And it's not just in recruiting, it's in operations, it's in safety. It's where Andersons are committed to being one big team. And our drivers are, are experiencing right now, which are kind of fun and full. Mm -hmm. so, it's all good. That's what we needed. We're going to go over and talk to Joe a little bit. How Come are we on. doing with questions? Joe, we're, we're doing, doing great. With, we're doing good with questions. They're flowing. Are we all caught up? Well, yeah. let me give you these. Yep, we're going to. We're following the bread. We're getting pretty close to wrapping it up. So, there's been some here, good questions. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to give five more minutes sure. for any other questions that you guys have. So I stress this every single Wednesday. Uh, if you have any questions, you're watching this, not live, but you're watching this version, do know that you can still comment. So any questions that you guys throw, I'm going to definitely have a burger too, Jimmy. Yeah. Could you tell I'm getting hungry? Me too. Uh, so my group is <laughs> starving here. But uh, folks, this is a really fun first time of doing this. But do know, if you're watching this live with us, if you're turning it on three, four days from now, uh, if you've got any questions that came up, after the fact, we are monitoring. I probably three or four of you guys. I hope so. <laughs> it's just that noise. Sorry, guys. Hope you can hear him well. Go ahead. All I got to do is take a scan. Before you oh, end, yes. Tim, yes. I do want you to just walk back to the yard and give these guys some perspective yeah. on the kind of equipment that we've got out there. So, again, we tried something new tonight just to have a little bit more casual and fun. Um, but, again, we call this. Uh, they call it. Okay, can you tell them? Barbecue, good time. Uh, everybody Oof, good? Duh. Everybody's good. So uh, we're gonna sign off, Sam. Any other questions that we missed? Like I said, I was gonna give about five minutes, but I'm gonna let my recruiters eat. Come on, you guys, give a goodbye. And then we're gonna do a little tour. So, you guys, John. Thank you for the last round. And of course, what do you guys think? Hey, Holly. Don't know yet. Oh well, you'll let us know here pretty soon. Right? I think he's doing a good job. Okay. So, you guys, how was the burger? It looks like the biggest. Give me a thumbs up. Anybody? They're all full. We say goodbye. Thanks for signing off. The burger's good? Yeah. Yeah. Give us a thumbs up. You guys, thank you very much for coming out for burgers. Uh, so, Sam, I think it would be cool to just yeah, give a, quick, uh, a look at the yard. But, folks, if anything after I walk away, because I'm hungry and I'm going to go eat a burger uh, <laughs> with, with the guys here. Um, but anything that you might comment after the fact, I will, we will be monitoring this and we will make sure we answer the questions. Again, we do this every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. So uh, this is not like once in a while. It's not, you know, random. You're not sure. Set your clock to it. Uh, we haven't missed one in 15 weeks. I think this is our 16th week in a row. Uh, and we're committed all the way through July and August. So every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Sunday Standard Time, share it with folks that you think might have an interest. Uh, we welcome both our active drivers, obviously uh, prospects that are looking at HS with all the program changes we've had. So driveforhs.com. Uh, guys, thank you very much for your help on all of this. Yes. Thank you, Adi. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Yeah, and just uh, the biggest thing out of tonight, just remember, pet policy and company trucks effective this coming Monday. Hoorah. Huge. Hoorah. All right, guys, you. you're coming with me. So I'm just going to do a couple minute tour, walk around our East shop. Um, but I think it's pretty cool um, getting to see from the corporate side. Um, I work on the corporate side. It's nice to see all of this awesome equipment and knowing that our drivers are in good quality trucks. This guy is the one that had the fun reflectors on his hubs. And again, they already said, if you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, they'll be getting back to them after the fact, after we're not live anymore. But as you can see, we have a lot of multi-axle trailers back here. It might take me a while to get back there, so I just wanted to give everyone an overview of what's going on. And this is a repair shop. And they already mentioned that we have our leasing company within this building as well. So it's easy to lease. Uh, we got people in-house support staff here to make sure you're successful. But thank you again for joining our Facebook Live. We really appreciate you. If you have questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, one of our recruiters is gonna be here answering all of them. All right, let's see. Bye, everybody.